If it's not too much to expect How about a little respect I don't like being deceived And I want someone to Is it to follow him? It's a challenge. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I was watching. It was yeah. interesting. You, you go for the, the common denominator okay. as much as you can <laughs> and hope for the best. <laughs> and then maybe put a, oh, maybe a couple in there. Ah, I'm back oh, on now track. I know where he is. Yeah, yeah. No, I, can, I, can point. I was watching his fingering and then I was watching him watching your fingering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, throwing, the, throwing him the, uh, the signals. It's in know. the moment. What? <laughs> Do one and let him catch up with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's easier the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I trust Ira on anything that it So what about this song? Oh, wow. Uh, I wrote that in 2012 mm -hmm. um, during the Republican challenge to Barack Obama's second term. And I was, con I was, like, I was, I was appalled at uh, the nature of the way that campaign was evolving. Uh, and I thought it couldn't get much worse. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I was, I was really, you know, I was really motivated to write uh, a response. I was just stunned at how insane it was back in 2012. And as I was writing it, my wife was, I played it for my wife as I was going, Mary Ellen Bernard, uh, who was my first sounding board. And she said, you know what, just don't get too political with it. Make it middle of the road. Uh, you know, make it relatable to everybody. And she was absolutely right, because the truth is, if you listen to the lyrics to that song. That could be for anybody. Mm -hmm. um, and as we found out in 2016, those lyrics, you know, some of those lyrics are the reason I think some people voted for Donald Trump because they were fed up with being lied to. And they felt like they were being lied to. And we're all being lied to uh, so often by people that we just, we just want truth and trust. Now, having said that, I think the Rakan, <laughs> and that's a really sad thing, oh, my personal opinion, Talk about that personally for a long time. So and then, anyway, the point of the song is that you know it's it's from the point of view of a of a working class guy, which we I think we all are in this room, um, you know. And there's struggle. It's just that just we want to live as well as we can and raise our families as well as we can and do what's right. And we just want you to do the same thing for us when you are in the government. So that's really what the song is about. There you go. Very nice. Let's make sure we get this in there. Huh? Sure. Mm -hmm. And it's actually on this album. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. The three in one collection. Da, da, da.